all right well uh while we're waiting let me hear y'all's thoughts what's the what's the thoughts on the uh on the update on the skins on the survivor pass if you had to rank it zero out of ten ten being you know the best all right um i don't know how many real people are in this lobby probably next to none so hey i'm actually gonna go just somewhere random just to kind of drop and chill for a bit okay feel free to follow if you want too i'm gonna do chat i'm actually gonna oh, he's following me i'm gonna go look for maybe a glider or something i just want to kind of go loot and just just kind of see what's up um because the only real thing that we'll see new on this map is uh you know panzerfaust jammer backpacks emergency pickups all that kind of stuff spawns on eight by eights now um so i'm just curious to see what the spawn rate is and then of course we get to select our um we get to select our tactical gear item here so that'll be um a new little thing we'll we'll check out yeah i, I do love this uh, little bucket helmet though <laughs> bucket helmet is cool <laughs> that's very very cool man i do like that i do i do like that uh any vehicles nearby yep there's a vehicle right there i go snag alexa pause but glider right there too perfect awesome hey we got a glider right there look out for a gas cam booty blue chip recall system device is activated that's how the new ui looks perfect there's a recall system right there do, 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 do. Oh, right. oh a gas can let's crouch josh is zero you you hate the update zero out of ten Oh my gosh oh my gosh uh new ak new jamaican ak oh no i didn't equip it oh i don't have it unlocked yet never mind lol uh boom there's a new uh, sks though check it out oops cool i like it four out of ten five out of ten nine out of ten seven out of ten four seven point five okay it's actually a pretty good mix so nobody's loving it but some of you guys are hating it and most of you are kind of like yeah it's all right yeah the esports skins are coming soon like sonic skins and all that coming soon um so i'm trying to think what tactical gear do i want to get my buddy got the blue chip detector he, he just pinged that a second ago so that's what he decided to go with kind of thinking i do the uh the tire repair kit you can carry blue chips via drone no well like you can take someone's like blue chip that's on the ground yes so, so yeah yes i guess the answer to your question is yes like if someone drops it out of a backpack, uh, yes, you can you can pick that up and carry it. Surprised I haven't seen an M4 yet. I have not seen a Jammer pack yet, um, or a Panzerfaust yet. Just a little, a little reminder. Some of the items we were looking for. Oh, here's an M4. Here we go. So let's go ahead and get that guy equipped, and then boom. Okay. Boom. Here's the new M4 with the new charm, the seal charm kind of wish the seal was looking at me dude this is the one thing i hate about guns with tack socks whenever you equip the tack stock which you always are going to equip it it removes the skin so silly that's a little seal there it's a cool little charm but still no jammer pack <clears throat> which will loot it i guess two compounds you know but just trying to gauge how frequently they'll spawn another gas cam two is probably plenty the repair kit for the vehicle chat riddle me this the repair kit for the vehicle it does not work once the vehicle's blown up correct it, it no longer works if the vehicle is completely blown up is that a yes or a no pretty sure that's a yes but please confirm with me on that yeah i don't think the revive is uh removing players from the game josh i think a lot of people are misconstruing that you know diablo 4 just launched that game has taken players away from everybody I don't think anybody has decided not to play PUBG because of revives. I'm, I'm fairly confident that nobody has stopped playing PUBG because of the revive feature. I would find that incredibly hard to believe. But especially considering having the revive feature and I've used it a couple times and only a couple of times, you know, it's not like it's like everywhere ruining the game. All right. So you, again, you can get all of the items, right? You can get spotter scope, drone, tack pack, EMT gear, blue chip repair kit my teammate got the blue chip. you got the blue chip detector right perfect he got the blue chip detector and uh reset roger that perfect he actually did confirm so i'm gonna go with the all-in-one repair kit uh, hit, uh click it hit confirm three seconds and i can interrupt it by just moving around at all so if you move your body while you're doing the animation you can uh stop it the so boom Tactical gear has been used, and now I have the all-in-one repair kit. Your one-stop repair solution for helmets, 
vest and vehicles can only be used a limited number of times uh what you got there um so let's see so repair kit number six uh remove tire repair vehicle so let's go ahead and remove this tire nice little wrench you can dodge a wrench you can dodge a ball not enough to pick up tire okay so here's what we're gonna do let's come over here we're gonna fuel this guy up tank gas is full perfect drop that oh does this guy have the tire do you have the tire did you take the tire you can take the tire okay we're gonna go ahead and uh what that's not what i want to do i want to take the tire remove tire boom i got the tire um tires here it's in my it's in my inventory here's a tire another one uh go ahead and boost up real quick so i have two tires they both weigh 20 capacity each okay i can't hold that boom let's rock and roll patrol so now this plane's leaving so now we've got two uses out of it and i believe there's 10 total uses but did taking the tire off actually use my usage i feel like it did why is my why am i losing speed i feel like taking that tire off didn't actually use a usage brakes fun fact having a vehicle repair kit equipped into your inventory does not make you a better pilot just in case anybody was curious about that that's been answered for science all right take to the skies here we go so when, when i land this vehicle i want to check did that actually use a usage of the of the repair kit because i feel like i didn't repair anything all i did was take off a tire i feel like i, I still have 10 uses right yes you're correct okay gotcha so here's what i was thinking while i asked that question i was thinking what if you could repair a blown up glider like like let's say you got the repair kit and you got in a glider you could essentially have a glider the entire match i mean right now you kind of could still because you just have to make sure to land it and repair it before it got too heavily damaged but that's uh pretty cheeky huh like if you just had a bunch of gas cans and a repair kit you could literally stay in the glider almost indefinitely you can use a tire as a weapon we will check that i don't think you can but we will we will definitely test that yeah you have to have the repair kit to take off the tires you don't have to have a repair kit to put back on the tires so like if i drop this tire in the ground anybody can pick it up and put it back on a vehicle so i'm gonna land down here there's a vehicle down here i'm gonna go test it there should be a truck right here right there cool some shots over there perfect all right so here i gotta pull out my my thing remove tire so i didn't have enough space in my inventory so that tire is there and i still have these two tires how do i oh now this is a little silly hold on what if i just walk up to it does it say oh that is a little silly so here, here's an, a, an issue that's going to be kind of common i feel like because my inventory is is full these don't go in my inventory right which is fine but because i have a butt pan here i can't actually equip the tire to put it back on the vehicle not enough space because what the game is trying to do is it's trying to swap the tire for the butt pan but the butt pan can't fit into my inventory so what i'm gonna do here is fill up this uh gas no 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 stop 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 I'm going to fill up the fuel on this thing and see if that, okay, that gave me enough space there, but you can see like how in a pinch you'd have to be like, oh shit, I got to drop my, drop my pan and put the, like, I, I don't like when those little things happen, but that's okay. All right. So now let's, uh, how do I pull out my tire? Here's the tire. And to answer your question, you cannot throw it. There's no like launch mechanism to throw. You should be able to throw a tire and hurt somebody. You should 100% throw a tire and it should roll down the hill. <laughs> so I think you just have to actually drop it, like legit drop it. Not enough space. Yeah, I think that's what that you have to do. So um, the game doesn't know what tire is what, right? So any tire can go back onto any vehicle. Install tire. Tire is back on. Did I use, a, did I use an option though of my repair kit? It still says I have 10. So this doesn't use any of the repair kits thing. Now, here's my question. What if I shoot tire once? Tire is no longer at full HP, right? The tire is 60%. So if I remove that tire. 
that tire is still damaged here see that so that tire can never get repaired right uh, i gotta pull back out the tire install tire That's one of the, the messed up tires, right? Or is it? Is it? That put back on the, the yeah. Okay. It says remove tire 60%. So I guess what my, what my question is here, I'm going to test it. Hold on. Let me put the tire back on. I want to put, I want to put that tire on the 60. Now it's 61%. The, it's gained HP. The tire has gained HP. If I repair the vehicle right now, does it repair that tire? That's what I want to check. It's a repair pickup. It's an eight second animation. So this tire hopefully is at hundred percent HP now. It's still at 60% HP. Yeah. See, that's a big oof, man. I feel like the most important part of a vehicle repair kit is to repair tires. Um, and it doesn't. So I think this ultimately is going to come down to being a armor repair kit, which is still really, really strong. You know, being able to repair your, your gear late game. Um, but it's unfortunate that it doesn't, um, repair tires. I feel like it should repair tires. Put it reverse, Terry. Can you pop a tire on the ground? Good question. Let's see. Hold on. So I'll put a tire. No, it's complete. Like not shootable. <clears throat> yeah. What if you could repair a vehicle while inside of it? Now that would be OP in a BRDM, huh? Just constantly repairing your, uh, your BRDM from inside. So yeah, my, my initial impressions of the repair kit are that it's pretty pointless other than uh, other than being able to repair your armor and your helmet, which is very strong, but like the whole vehicle repair, you know, maybe on a BRDM, it makes a lot of sense because that vehicle you would want to keep as long as possible. Some of those smaller vehicles though, I'm not sure it's, you know, that big of a deal personally, and you can't repair tires, um, which is a little silly. I feel like you should be able to repair tires. Yeah, but it takes three seconds to, to take the tire off is what I'm saying. Like, so you could, like, like you just said, just take the tire off and leave it on the ground. You know, leave it next to the vehicle. <clears throat> but I don't know. I kind of feel like it, it should um, repair the tire too. You know, shoot these guys or... Oh, he didn't have a scope. Oh. Well, let's jump off and go get him. You ready? we we'll jump off over the building. All right. Three, two, one. Let's go. Uh. <laughs> uh. I got your back, buddy. I got your back. <laughs> I'm not trolling you. He probably thought I was troll like I left him. Oh, I can't aim down. Ah! Wait, repair glider. You're not going to lie. I had you in the first half, huh? You, you guys, you guys thought I was going to let him die. No way. Oh, watch this. Boom. <laughs> Got him. Yeah, I tried damaging on the ground. You cannot damage the uh, tile on the ground.
<clears throat> so if you really had to repair a tire, you'd have to go around to... Yes. Yes. You would have to take off a tire from another vehicle, bring it to the other vehicle, and, <laughs> and put it on that one. So like a high, a high IQ move would be to literally preemptively take tires off of vehicles in anticipation that late game you're going to need it to put back on your vehicle. That's the hot. Oh no. Where's he getting shot at from? That's the high level IQ move. But the tires, you know, they're 20 capacity, so they take up a lot of space. I don't see the person shooting at him. We got the AC-130 up here, dude. You see anyone, buddy? Remember, he has the blue chip detector. My teammate can see probably everyone in the in the buildings. <clears throat> A loot drop. Let's get it. Yum. Yay. Yay. We won. Woo. Good job, buddy. We did it. Yay. Good job. We did it, buddy. All right, let's flex. Yeah. Oh, that's it. Okay. Let's crouch. Quick recap of our first look at the tactical gear items in use in PUBG. I still think my initial reaction is accurate in, in, the, in the sense that the blue chip detector is going to be the most OP item, OP. Uh, the jammer backpack being able to um, act as a UAV jammer is good. That's a good counter to the blue chip detector. But you wearing a jammer backpack significantly reduces the amount of loot you can carry, which obviously, you know, is a big deal in PUBG, especially late game when you want to hold a lot of utility, a lot of smoke grenades, that kind of stuff. The repair kit, I think vehicle repair tire replacement is kind of like a novelty uh it'll be fun and useful in very very certain small scenarios however the fact that you can repair your own level two or level three gear or your teammates level two or level three gear i think that is the strongest part of that item and um that that will be number two strongest item in the game followed by number three being the EMT gear. Because if you remember, the EMT gear got a nerf where it only is able to um, heal your, your teammates. You can only bandage, first aid, and med your teammates at a sped up rate. And it's not as fast as it was before. Neither is the revival of your teammate as fast as it was before. So there are still good uses for that item, but it's not, it's not the EMT of old.
so again my initial very first impressions uh i'm open to my opinion changing i think um it's blue chip detector tactical backpack or not um what's the repair kit and then the emt gear those are the three items you want to prioritize the tablet uh the drone rather if you're on destin of course that'll be very strong for destin only and yeah and just my opinion overall on the classes in PUBG, i think ultimately it's a good change allowing a separate slot for the tactical gear i think that's a good thing because you know most items weren't being picked up anyway because the, you had to sacrifice a weapon right so i think that's a good thing it has its own slot i think they could have gotten away with allowing the tactical gear to replace your sidearm personally but that's neither here nor there i guess it's kind of the same thing so i like that change everybody spawning with the item i'm not a big fan of and, and here, here's specifically why you think about early game situations as one example you you let's say you hot drop okay even if it's not a hot hot drop let's just say you land anywhere and you're surrounded by a couple of enemies or it's a squad game and you land at a compound with another team you can instantly deploy the blue chip detector and immediately know where everybody is nobody's going to have a jammer backpack right off the rip if they do it's very you know very lucky and situational that they spawn next to one or landed next to one rather so it changes the way you approach your fights drastically when you have to assume that everybody knows your exact position and where you're coming from even though they reduce the counter from five seconds to eight seconds of scan time so it, it's a longer time between scans you as the the enemy you don't know when you have been scanned so you don't know when the next eight seconds is going to be up to utilize that as information so ultimately i think that's going to be a I don't know if it's a problem but it'll be a big change you know it'll time will tell if it's a problem but that'll be the biggest like wow that's a big change because you'll have a lot of scenarios i i think where you're gonna be like how did that guy know i was there how did they know i was coming from this building how did they know i rotated to this building and then you're gonna have to remind yourself oh they they probably had the blue chip detector you know what i'm saying so i think that's gonna be the biggest thing to adjust to yo what's up jans Hope you're having a good lunch break yeah yeah uh we're, we're, we've just been live for about an hour on youtube uh, almost an hour and a half now we're gonna move the stream over to twitch and we're gonna hop into some duos with uh the hollywood bob for the rest of the day so i guess to, to to wrap up this video ultimately i think it's a cool change but i would i would still i think like these tactical gear boxes i think they should be either rare spawns or only available in crates so that you know the i'm talking about the gear the box that you spawn with i think you probably should not spawn with it it should be in the wild you should randomly have to find one and then you choose which of the gear you want to use i think that is probably a better approach and a better fit for PUBG. again that's my knee jerk initial reaction i'm curious to hear your thoughts let me know down below uh, if you guys like the video, hit a thumbs up. Make sure to get subscribed if you're new to the channel and uh, look forward for more PUBG content, all right?